白羽お前も正直に話してもらうぜなぜあの二人が学院へ戻ってきているんだ It's your turn to be honest now, Shirahane. Why do those two come back to the academy? Shirahane, um, I don't know. I shake my head. I'm not intentionally hiding anything, but Erika ruffles her hair roughly in frustration. Then let's try another question. What did Yatsura Senpai mean when she told you not to get any closer to a goddess of truth? And how about Miss Secret Only the President of Council Nikkei is supposed to know about? The Tulka of Agape. The Tulka of Agape? Didn't we help out with that? You helped? Remembering that she was supposed to keep this a secret from Mika, Takasaki shuts up and looks like she's bit, just bitten a lemon. Perhaps it's okay for me to tell Erika to tell all of them the story sounding the Goddess of Truth. But reading information about the Goddess of Truth will come across in my quest to get Miyuri back would mean getting them all involved in it. I don't care what happens to me, but my friends. Oi. Oi. Are you mocking us or what? What? I know you're doing up some silly story about us and I wanted to drag us into your personal issues, but it's a bit late with that. And like it or not, we've come this far together. Did you take us for a kind of idiot to leave a cinema during the last 10 minutes of the movie? Because that's what this is. She jerks her chin towards Takasaki and Rika, who both smile at me. I feel the same way as Erika. It doesn't sit right with me being kept in the dark at this stage. Erika san, Takasaki san. I want to help you, Suro san. I always will. Rika clasps my hand, her words earnest. Fighting back your emotions while they up at me, I, I nod. Don't cry, we'll always be your friends, no matter what. I realise there are tears running down my cheeks and I wipe them away. But more take their place. There's no stopping these emotions from flowing out of me. The black sludge that's caked up in me is washed away, leaving its place only grateful joy. Thank you, Rikasan. I decided there and then to tell my best friends all about what happened in the spring. And the events that began in summer. The tears I remember in gratitude finally stop and I haltingly begin my tale. You want to know why Yatsura Senpai and Kamikado Senpai were there? It's because I resolved to get my Yui back. Both Erika and Takasaki already know this, but I never expressly told my Amity partner. I thought so. She murmurs, looking down at the ground. I'm sorry, Rika Sana. I knew I should tell you at some point, but I just... She doesn't keep quiet about it and malice. There's just a time and place for these things. Exactly. We weren't purposefully leaving you out. Huh? She blinks as the other two girls back me up. I understand what you're trying to make me feel better, but I'm not upset about it at all. You're not? I was just thinking back on things since a lot of stuff suddenly makes sense now. Really? Really? I always thought that Suo san must be readying herself to look for Mayuri. You did? Oh, yeah, I mean, you've always hated public speaking, yet you put yourself forward for a council election. It was obvious to me that had something to do with Mayuri. Tears went over my eyes once again as I realised that she's known all along. This time, it's Rika who lends me a handkerchief to wipe him away. The 
fabric is impregnated with a comfortingly familiar citrus scent. What is getting Mayuri back in town? Talking with family members who made her come home? I shake my head at a pragmatic suggestion and tell her that at first I simply wanted a reason. A reason? I couldn't believe she disappeared without a word, so Mubin wanted to get her back. I wanted to know why she left. Rick and Nards, I continue on telling how Eric had encouraged me when I felt hopelessness. I knew it! After a harvest festival, you seemed like you'd been reborn. She offers words of thanks to Erica, who scratches her head awkwardly. I watch her exchange affectionately. I spoke with a lot of different people trying to understand why she might have left. I tell her why I first went to Sister Basket and how she wouldn't tell me anything, except it was a sudden decision. Then I explained how I moved on to a student's close to Mayuri, particularly those in my art club. Mayuri was in my art club, wasn't she? Yeah. I was just trying to see whether or not she mentioned anything to her art club friends before she left. From then, I heard that she had painted several oil paintings and I explained how something about this tugs at my mind. How I wondered whether or not there might be some clue hidden in those paintings. You thought Mayuri might have left a clue in it for you in her paintings? I nodded my account how I tried to get permission to see the paintings but was denied. I found myself at a dead end, I... You've got to be kidding me! You're the one who started the whole hooking thing? Yes, it was me. Ricker too blinks in surprise, reflexively fiddling with her braids. It's plain from Erica's gaze that it comes as no revelation to her, though. I think the rest of us can see the funny side of it, even if Fez can't. Erica moves the conversation on with some banter, and I flash a look of gratitude. And then I tell him about the three paintings I found upon sneaking into the art room. I've got words written in on one of them. On earth as it is in heaven. That phrase was a message left to me by Mayuri. I explained how I went on a went to a certain someone to ask about the meaning of those words. And that person was Yatsura Senpai. I tell him how he met him at chapel at night, and the words Mayuri left me were a plea for help. I tell him it was another Huckman. When I explained the incident in spring when Yatsura Senpai was hit in the head, it was no accident. But there was a culprit behind it. Is that true? Yes. I think whoever struck Yatsura Zampai was the same person who hurt Mayori. Regardless of truth. Regardless of truth? She told me there was another god of its academy. Or a goddess, rather. And did you get the name of this goddess of truth from Yatsura Zampai? I recount how Yatsura Senpai told I was better off not knowing. But you're another kind of person who would let that stop you. No, so I wouldn't let it go. I don't care what happens to me. I don't care if a goddess of truth hurts me too. I begged her to tell me the truth. An awkward silence descends on the room, pausing my faltering and telling you events, then my face look around the group. Don't ever say you don't care what happens to you. Yes. I keep telling you, Suo san, but I, we are here for you. We'll be a shield and we'll protect you from any sparks that might fly your way. The words hit me with gut. I feel tears in my eyes again for the young team of time. Okay, let's look at that. I'm allergic to showing emotion. I'll just say ditto to all that, okay? Anyway, I assume you had to do this by offering some terms when you refused to back down. 
I'm betting she told you, but if you want to know the truth, you have to take over the role of president of the Canton Nikaya, right? A nod. Rikasan's eyes widen and Takasaki san grimaces. Yes. For my part of a bargain, I started working towards becoming president while scouting and continuing to investigate Miyoi's disappearance. I had no idea it was part of some kind of transaction. You decided to stand for the vice president position to so support me, didn't you? Well, of course. I'm your amity partner. As she pulls out her chest proudly, Erika pulls her gross face and throws out face. And raise an eyebrow at me, urging me to continue. Once the fulfilled the term is given to me by the now ex president, I went to get the truth from her. But. She reneged on the deal. I nod. But something must have caused her to reconsider. Because she summoned me to Iznik just before Christmas Mass. But the same day, we asked her something and Mikado Senpai left the Academy. And that was when she bored her lips on my ear and gave me what she promised. If it's Miyori Kos Kosaku you seek, you'll have to approach the goddess of truth. And the key to arrive at the goddess is the Tulpa of Agape. Agape, the theological concept of unconditional love? The name we were searching for. She went on to say the Tulpa of Agape is a long forgotten first mystery of the seven mysteries. It's the first of the seven. Everyone falls silent. Perhaps it was the same sensation of nail scratching on their insides that I first felt upon hearing that name. A sensation of encountering something long missed, something so repulsive you never want to see it again. She said her name was for the years of her present and the count on Nikaya only. And then she said this. Did you know Sirokun was the statue of a Virgin Mary shows her stepping on a snake? Snakes represent evil. Take the tulpa to be the snake between the Virgin Mary's feet. That's what the previous president told me. A tulpa is a snake? Sounds like the snake is a metaphor for those who harm others. And talking of doing harm to others, this goddess of truth character. Chris, are you saying the snake is a tulpa of Agape and the tulpa of a goddess of truth are one and the same? I can't say for certain, but I have a good feeling. Does this whole tulpa of Agape bring something to mind, Sura san? I can't say nothing. Honestly, I found I'm down to sound any solid proof. So I can't say anything for certain. And of course, if it's a plant, it definitely points to Sister Basket, who as I'm heavily suspecting right now, to be honest. Oh. There's one thing that randomly popped into my mind. My grandfather once told me about a plant that could ward off snakes and poisonous creatures. Oh, what plant is that? Wood sorrel. In Japanese, katabami. Katabami? Like, do mother katabami? Is she involved in this? What we call katabami in Japan is wood sorrel in English. But in some parts of Europe, it's also known as Hallelujah. That is the spelling Hallelujah, which means praise God. Erika's look reminds me this is nothing more than a conjecture. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a concrete answer. Oh, nothing at all. But I never knew Nova Dabra Katabami's name held such meaning. The Lord works in mysterious ways. The Lord works in mysterious ways, swinging about Rikasan's world niggles at me. 
Something important. Now is not time for putting things down. Preconceived notions, only now you're thinking. Anyway, the top of Algapaver. I know you said it's just the original seven mysteries. I was talking about it just on soundbite. What's that? I think we've talked about this before, but Tulpas are a phenomenon associated with aesthetic practices of Tibetan mystics. Hardly so much sharp in a mission school, right? You're right. What do you think, Shirahane? The only page in the almanac should refer to a tall part of Agape has been torn out. And back in my mind, I hear the words of the ex president when Daya took over presidency. That name is written here. So I can't say for certain, but I agree with her that something feels off. I tell you the name to key to reach a of truth. She also told me when she was she was hurt from a greenhouse, it wasn't an accident. She was attacked by someone. If you can come out and say it, then... It's hard for me to say this was staring at me so dubiously. Yatsuro Senpai gave me another key. The name of a place had written down on a piece of notepaper. In response to her questioning looks, I go on to tell him about the place of a note out of the forest away from the academy. Without reading its exact location. That remains of a chapel that had burned to the ground long ago. Hold up. Is it a chapel of a schoolhouse? Yes. Judging by its size and location, I'd say this was probably an additional chapel. Or maybe it was only used for important events. But I don't understand how a burned down chapel could possibly be a key to anything. Maybe a goddess of truth is the person who started the fire? I hadn't thought of it like that. When I fall silent in contemplation, I hear a muttered, Are you serious, America san? Oh, no, um, I was just considering it as a possibility. Alright, so that's a non starter, too, huh? Directs a feline smile at me for a second, and I wonder whether or not I should tell him about the grave appearance of a chapel and a name carved into a tombstone. Erica really expects this to basket. I don't know how I can tell her. Seems like you found something very open in the Burnout Chapel. Huh? You probably aren't aware of this, but when you're trying to hide something, you get creases between your brows. I went up forward between my eyebrows, and my lips curl further up into a crescent moon. I'm no match for you, Erika san. I think not. I'm an expert liar. So, what did you find? Despite my hesitancy, I knew in a moment to tell, uh, I decided to tell them my quest. Miyori would have to relate this too. When I investigated the ruins of the chapel, I became curious about the mark indicator on the note since it was a little removed from the building itself. And, I passed through the remains of an old chapel and made my way to a place marked on a map. There, hidden beneath an elder tree, I found a grave. And on that grave was a name. Shion Basket. After I to speak the name, a tense silence descends upon the room. The only noise comes from a wind scrambling in a window pane like an old rabbit dog trying to get in. She repeats the name in a creaking voice, then bites down on her lip in a gesture quite unlike her. Perhaps her thoughts have led her to a worse conclusion. Erika san. Shion Basket? So the key Yatsura Senpai was talking about was... Don't. I don't want to hear the rest. Faced with Erika's pain expression, even Takasaki can't bring himself to say more. Her suspicion clearly points to Sister Dahlia, who shares the same surname. I'm certain she knows something, but... If... Huh? If the time comes to ask Sister Basket about Shion Basket, let me do it. Please. I can't refuse my friend's plea. I'm not hesitant but firm. I'm aware that this is the best option. 
Setting Shion Basket aside, I still don't understand how his tall pet of Agape can be a key to anything. Up until now, I've been trying to chase down both, but I've hit a dead end. The only clue I've had to work with right now is those books I asked you to look at. I see. The silence switches out again. Piling girl like will snow outside to muffle any potential sound. It's so quiet. I almost suspect if I strain my ears, I'll be able to hear the others breathing. Hey, Hanabishi-san. Do you have any ideas about all the... She stops. The rest of the world hanging unspoken in the air. I raise my face and wear in staring a hole into my shoes. Rikasan? Following Takasaki-san's gaze, I see my amity partner. Frozen as still as a statue. What's up? Is there a bug or something? A bug? Oh no, 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 no. My back reassures me I'm still frozen and reaching out my hand towards her while she speaks. You? I know about Shion Basket. Yeah, Shiohana just sold us. My amity partner looks on Takasaki to Erika and then to me as though searching our faces for some kind of sign. No. I've known her about us, about Sion Basket, since long before Sua mentioned her. She tells a stunned room. Oh. Truths are really coming out. Sagashite <laughs> <laughs>